how to remove, reset, and control YouTube recommendations. In this video session, I'm going to show you a few different options for you to follow if you want to enjoy YouTube better. Meaning, when you want YouTube, whether it's desktop or YouTube app, to show you videos that are of interest to you, that you like, instead of unwanted videos that you somehow can't get rid of, here's the steps you need to follow. First, to remove a video that is not interest to you, you can press on the three dots on any video and select not interested. Then, tell us why. Let's select, I don't like this video. Press submit. I can do that. Then, let's do something like this. On the left hand side, when we're logged into our YouTube account, let's press on history. Here, I can clear all watch history. I can press on manage all history. I can delete all time for YouTube history. But remember, when you do this, YouTube is only going to delete search and watch history. Although that's going to affect the recommendations to a degree, it won't allow you to reset or control them properly. So, But nonetheless, we want to delete search and watch history. Let's press delete. Let's press got it. At this moment, what most people don't understand in terms of YouTube recommended videos is YouTube looks at your interactions, as in your previous interactions. If you've liked or disliked certain videos, if you've commented or interacted on live chat messages and so on, all of that is considered when YouTube recommends videos for you. So what you want is you want to triple check this. Yeah. When you're here, Let's imagine I want to delete this. I would like to delete this activity. Let's select delete. I can do that. Okay, so. But I can also select delete all. So that option is there for me as well, okay? So if you want to go through them one by one, you can do that. Okay, so you can keep doing that. But what's very important in terms of your Google and YouTube account is that when you press on interactions on the left hand side you have other activity let's press on that now, depending on how you're using your YouTube channel it's in your YouTube account it may be tied to your Google account you may have a brand account and so on so I won't go into that because that's confusing, right? So your Google account also gives you options to manage your YouTube history, which is basically the same as the previous option. But here, so as we can see from here, we can actually manage our YouTube interactions as well. Okay, so keep that in mind. Basically, it takes us to the same place. Let's search for your interests. What you want is you want to delete your interests. Because, because you, YouTube is owned by Google. It's associated with your Google account. So the interests here and the topics and so on may influence recommended videos. Okay, So I don't want to delete it. I'm just showing you where the option is. And let's go and look at one more insight from our main Google account. What we can do is press on data and privacy. And I just want to show you this here. Data from apps and services that you use. Content say from Google services, which then includes your YouTube account. But you may have used different Google products. 
if that's the case you may want to clear a particular Google activity as well because everything is tied together finally with your ads you can look at my ad center if you do have personalized personalized ads on you can turn that off or what you can do is you can customize ads if you have that on you can say you know what I like let's say I don't like show me few of this ad here which is topics or brands or sensitive information this for Google Ads but as I've said your YouTube account is actually tied to your Google account as well so once you follow all these options that I've shown to you then what will happen is YouTube will actually show you let's say this was of interest to me as I continue using YouTube more and more then the feed as in the recommendations will be catered for my interests and for my likes this is how you control YouTube recommendations if you have benefited from this video session please do give it a like and share it and I'll talk with you in the next video session